here we are at the Baryshnikov Art Center in Midtown Manhattan for a very special ballet event entitled This Is Forever. It's a love story about two people fated to meet. It transcends time and space and it features two dancers who are married in real life which brings an added dimension to this work. The music is by Steve Margosius and it's choreographed by Jacqueline Buglisi, presenting This Is Forever. So here we are um, at Baryshnikov Art Center again for This Is Forever in Studio 6A and um, this particular ballet uh, takes its inspiration from a book written by Mildred Cram called Forever. And it's written in the Depression era, uh, 1934, 35. This beautiful ballet takes the story of Forever and um, expresses that part of us which is the mystery, the mystery of love. Um, how, what is it, this thing, love at first sight? You know? And um, how many of us have ever experienced love at first sight? Are we born again and again? Does our spirit live forever? And um, those questions that we ask when we see someone and we feel that immediate incredible uh, sensation, that beautiful emotion, love, that really binds our lives and our humanity to our body, mind, and soul. And um, I think that there's a lot of beautiful uh, inspiration in this story. And I've taken it um, with the, um, I think, direction of David De Silva to express just the part of the story where these lovers come back and they meet and all their lives they have had this feeling that they must go to Mont Blanc in France and they finally go to Chamonix and meet. This work was inspired also a lot by Steve Margosius' music and it's very romantic. The story starts with the two of them arriving there at Mont Blanc and seeing each other. And then in that first moment, there is that incredible feeling of love. Hello, my name is Jason Jordan. This is So Young Anne. Yeah, I'm from Brooklyn, New York. And she's from Korea. My name is Stephanie Van Doren. Uh, I am from the Netherlands. Hi, my name is Brian McGinnis. I'm from Worcester, Massachusetts. My name is Lauren Jager. Um, I'm from Poquag, New York. Hi, my name is Ari. Um, music. And I met Jackie when I was like 12 or 13. She was one of my ground teachers. Hi, I'm Erica Langmeyer. I have been dancing with Jackie since October. I'm the newest member of the company. I've been apprenticing with her. I'm from Seattle, Washington. My name is Marie Zagosik. I came to New York to go to the Juilliard School where I met Jacqueline Buglisi. She was my teacher in the second year there. I have four couples. I have the central couple, Jason Jordan and So Young On, and then I have three other couples that are, in a way, the same couple, the same spirit, the same idea. Coming and meeting and parting and love that comes and we meet and we part in this life, in the next life, and beyond. It's really a gift that David came to me and asked me about doing this ballet, because um, this small book, this novella, actually has been in my family. My father had this book, and I inherited this book. Um, he kept, he would collect a lot of these small books, and. Um, when David came and brought me the book forever, he, I said, I, 
I know this book, I have this book. We visit and revisit the idea of um, life after death. The spirit lives on, the spirit comes back again, um, rebirth, um, do we ever die, does the spirit ever die, these kinds of questions, the mystery of love. I've abstracted the work into the sensation of love at first sight. I think sometimes what's really wonderful is when you get asked or commissioned to do a ballet and actually it's really and truly something that is um, deep within yourself that we really have experienced that and the experience of love at first sight is something that I truly do have had in my life. I had the great fortune of having that. I met my husband and we got married after five weeks and then shortly after that we danced together in the Martha Graham Dance Company for until almost Martha's death. And I have a young son and now I'm creating a ballet with a theme of um, love at first sight. I enjoy working with Jackie very much. She's a wonderful person. She's very creative and she dances from the heart. It's been wonderful. She's a great choreographer and she just pulls out so much from every dancer. I like her work because it's full of passion, it's full of integrity and uh, hope and it's full of life. It makes me happy. I love how she's very giving to the dancers. She just feeds you information, inspiration, and she's wonderful to work with. Working with Jackie, it's like real life. It's you know you have your ups and your downs, and but it always comes to something really beautiful and really meaningful. In the company, my company, Baglisi Dance Theatre, here they are again. This kind of amazing and incredible mystery that is love, um, and the beauty that we see um, what happens when that kind of energy comes together in performance is really extraordinary. I met So Young doing the Nutcracker in, in Seattle, Washington. Yeah, we partnered together, we did, what did we do? Sugar Plum and Cavalier. And for me it was an instant connection, but for her it, was like, it took a while. Being married, and being dancers, it's a, uh, it's tricky. It's it's um, it's hard because we both do the same things, and I guess this is also true. We yeah, we do get to talk about everything. I guess uh, other couples when they come home, it's like you know you have to figure out what happened in their day, but we already know, so I guess we get deeper quicker. Having your partner and being able to work together and to have this kind of energy where you know so well each other's timing, each other's bodies, and that beautiful connectedness of trust. Working with my wife and working with Jackie, it's 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 beautiful, I can say all that, like the, the easy, cheesy way to say it, but um, I'm really lucky to have that. You see So Young and Jason doing these beautiful lifts, and they can repeat them over and over again because they have this instinctual understanding of each other's natures and chemistry. And that's very special, and it's very special to have something like that in a company. Like I see her at home every day, and then I go to work with her, and then I get to experience all facets of dance with her, so it's a really special thing. I felt very strongly about creating a theme of, you know, they, they, they come together and they part, and they come together and they part, and then they come together and then it's a circular swirling and then going out again. There's a lot of circular movement, a lot of large arcing movement. It's very voluptuous in its expressiveness. But it is very simply that whole idea of them coming together, that moment of breath, an expression that you feel when you see somebody is emoted and then they move away. So we physicalized that over and over again, the rising and the falling, the coming together and the parting, and the life and death of it. And so you see um, this constant rising and falling of the crescendo even in the music. 
Um, and so we use that. We, we take it and we really work it. We, we try to really work that.
I'm David De Silva. On behalf of the Father Fame Foundation, I'm very proud to have presented the premier workshop performance of This Is Forever. I hope you enjoyed it.